Hello everyone, my name is Rushi Panchal and welcome to a tutorial for how to use the gradient tool in Adobe Photoshop. If you want to create a smooth transition from a color to another in Photoshop, the gradient tool is the easiest way to achieve it. The gradient tool allows you to create a gradual changes of color and light across an image with power and precision. You can use a different type of gradient to blend with or overlay other images to create a stunning backdrops for logo designs, poster art, stylized photos and much more. So friends, you can get a gradient tool in toolbar over here. Okay, you can see a gradient tool by pressing a keyboard shortcut G, you can activate this tool. Okay, if you are pressing the G, for example, I'm in a move tool. If, if I'm pressing this G, then automatically the gradient is selected. Now, if you want to select this other tool inside this gradient, then what you can use, you can use shift plus G. As you can see, it will be changing. Fine. So I'm just selecting a gradient tool. So friends, as you can see, the first is a gradient editor. Here you can see a gradient editor where you can see a different different presets. Okay, you can create your own presets, you can change a gradient type, smoothness and much more. Okay, first of all, I'm show you the presets. Here is the basic preset, black and white preset. You can see a different, different blue and different type of colors. Okay, I'm just make it a bigger so that you can see all the gradient. Okay, there's a purple gradient, pink gradients, red gradient, orange gradient and the green gradient. Okay, so according to a requirement, you can use this by default gradient. Okay, this is given by the Photoshop. Now in our image, as you can see, there is a green color as well as the sky color. Okay, which is a little bit of different color. So accordingly, I am just selecting this grid gradient where I want this green 18. Okay, so I'm just selecting this gradient. Now you can also change the gradient name. You can use a type as well as smoothness. Okay, I need a good smoothness because my image is accordingly. Fine, I'm just pressing the OK. Now, once you drag and drop over here, as you can see, it will be look something like this. Now friends, rather than adding a gradient directly to the active layer, create a new layer to work with the gradient. By adding the gradient as a new layer in Photoshop, you have a whole realm of flexibility to edit it more creatively. So friends, I'm just creating a new layer. Okay. Now here you can do anything. If you, if you want to delete this layer, you can do it simply. So your original image is not affected. Okay. So I'm just selecting this layer. Now I'm also changing the opacity to 40%. Okay. Now our color will be uh, this color, this color. So this is a starting point. This is the ending point. Okay. So I'm just drag it from here to here. See the result. Now you can also play with these options. Okay. Here you can see a different, different mode. See, I'm just doing a color burn. Now see the effect. This is our original image and this is our image with using a gradient tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends like this, you can use gradient tool to make a more creative photos, logos and much more. Now friends in option bar, as you can see the types of gradient, there are total of five types of gradient in Adobe Photoshop. First is a linear gradient. Second is a radial gradient. Third is an angle gradient. Fourth is a reflected gradient and fifth is a diamond gradient. Now we are going to start with a linear gradient. Okay. So for that, I'm just deleting this new layer. Okay, I'm just selecting this linear gradient. So creating a plane, linear gradient is the most common use of this tool. Over the generation of Photoshop, more options have been added. To apply any gradient to your image with the gradient tool selected, simply click and drag your mouse. Your linear option is the default. To change this, click one of the option icon beside the gradient panel in the secondary top menu. So from here, you can change a different type of gradient. So friend, by default, the linear gradient is selected, which we already seen the example. Okay. This is our example of the linear gradient. Fine. So friend, here is a tip for the linear gradient. Holding down the shift key as you drag the restrain the movement to the straight line. This will follow the direction you start dragging. For example, I'm just dragging here, but as you see, I can't drag the straight. Now to drag the straight, just press shift while you're dragging. So it will be give up straight line. 
So friends, like this, you can use a linear gradient to make a creative images. Now friends, next is a radial gradient. You can see in the option, the second is a radial gradient. Now when you click and drag with the radial gradient tool option selected, the gradient will shade from where you click to the edge in a circular shape. For example, I click the center of the image and drag to the image. For example, I am just drag from here. So as you can see, this color will start from this color to this color. Okay. Now friends, if you want to add a third color, just press control and click any of this line. Okay. I'm just click over here and as you can see new color is done just change the color to red okay I'm adding one more color here fine and make this color to green I'm adding one more color to here and make this color to this okay just make the different color so that you can identify the radial gradient fine So done now I'm just what I'm doing just drag from middle to here now see the all color which I'm selected in our gradient editor the color will be here okay so now we are working with uh, opacity and blending mode to make this uh, image more creative so what we can do we are just creating a new layer okay now according to our image we are going to select a preset so I'm going to select a green preset as our image have the green color in here. Uh, for example, I'm selecting uh, this color, okay, where I want a green on a starting because our background is a green. Just search select here or you can also use a color picker to select this. Now middle we are going to add one more color where we want a skin tone. So just selecting the skin tone color and the last again will be the green. Just press OK and make the opacity to 40%. Fine. Just drag from here to here. Now I'm just playing with a blending modes. See the different different style. Okay. see the different so like this you can use a radial gradient to make image more creative now friends next is a angle gradient okay just click on the angle gradient in the option bar now this gradient is a little challenging to use well as you click and drag your mouse over an image the gradient shade in a clockwise direction I click and drag from the center of the canvas okay like this to part of way to the right as you can see where the starting and ending color ends there is a prominent hard line created like this here for example if I am creating a center to here see this hard line okay so friends now using this gradient we are going to create something in this image so first of all creating a new layer now I am creating a new gradient for example I am creating uh, this one okay just decrease this to 30% and drag from here to here fine and uh, just uh, work with a blending option okay just make the subtract see the result okay so using this tool you can just need to work with a different different option okay you can work with opacity blending mode okay different different uh, options to make your image more creative so this is our third gradient which is a angle gradient okay so friends next is a reflected gradient just click okay so when you click and drag with the reflected gradient selected you create a new gradient that is a symmetrical from the starting point okay see just play with the opacity and make it a 20 percent okay uh, for that first of all I'm creating a new layer using this tool and work with a different different blending option 
okay so this is the fourth option which is an reflected gradient fine now friend next I'm just deleting this okay so friends next we are going to learn a diamond gradient so just select this diamond gradient now I am just selecting this image okay creating a new layer over here now once you drag and drop with a diamond gradient as you can see it will be work like a diamond okay if I'm dragging a small then you can see a small diamond over here where our first color will be here and next color in spread out over over the rest of this area fine now with the gradient we are going to do something so first of all I am creating our own custom gradient uh, where I am just uh, going to create a new okay here you can change your name for example I am just creating a new with the name of um, Rushi fine select this color which is uh, this skin tone color next color I am going to add uh, with this green color and the last not be red but a different color fine and just make it new so as you can see this is a custom and this is a gradient we created just press ok now you need to work with the opacity I am just making it 30% uh, just drag from the center of the image to here so that the result will be here just work with the blending mode so you can get a more result okay see so like this I'm just using this a linear light fine so as you can see using this diamond gradient tool so friends you can use many things using the gradient tool so friends the gradient tool in Photoshop can change how a picture looks by a blending color smoothly to get a good at using it you need to practice and try a different things with colors and transparency eventually you'll know when to use a gradients to make photo look better so friend this is all about a gradient tool in Adobe Photoshop okay there are different different option over here we already learn a mode we learn about uh, opacity these are simple simple like a reverse okay now what this reverse will done for example I am just selecting uh, this is a basic gradient okay from black to white okay and I make it to hundred percent for example if I am just drag from here to here then it will become from the black to white it's fine because that's what we selected but if I am click on this reverse then it come from white to black see because it's reverse our gradient you can also ch see the changes on this option bar while I am just switch from reverse to non reverse okay guys so friends that's all about a gradient tool in Adobe Photoshop now next we are going to learn how we can use this gradient on a text okay so for that I'm just selecting one image for example this just adding a text from here okay where I'm writing nature just increase the size of this text fine make the color to white okay so friends this is our text now we are using a gradient in this text so for that first of all you need to double click on this to enable the blending option okay here you can see a layer style otherwise you can just right click on this text and here you can see a blending option just click here okay I'm just making our text little bit of side so you can you can see a blending option as well as the changes done in our text okay so you can see both this now in this layer style blending option you can see these a black gradient overlay just click here and as you can see the default gradient will apply on our text from here you can see a different different this one we created for ourselves you can also use this see different different gradient over here 
for example i am using this gradient just uh, select this gradient and press ok now you can also change the st style of this gradient from here which we already learned which is a linear radial angle reflected and diamond if i'm just using this linear you can also change the angle from here okay from here you can see change the blending option see the different different blending options are here i'm just make it a linear burn you can scaling and scale out okay and you can here from change the opacity you can also use the same option which we already done reverse from here so friends like these you can apply a different different gradient to your text see uh, because we have a green background I'm just selecting a green one okay make the scale part to these make it a little bit of changing the angle okay so friends like this you can use a text blending in your adobe photoshop so friends that's all about a gradient tool in adobe photoshop okay if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for the notification thank you so much guys see you in the next video